What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. In today's video we're going to be having a look at a paper that I read back in January but the general premise of the episode is I think pretty cool. I've been meaning to do an episode on this research paper for a little while now but I'd kind of forgotten about it until I saw the recent Simon Nellis incident a few weeks back. So today we're going to be looking at one of the best ways that you can deter a shark while you're in the water. Now as you might have guessed I love sharks and I love being in the water with them and when I'm in the water with them I actually feel pretty safe. So some of you might be asking asking if you love sharks so much then why would you want to deter them? Well at the end of the day these animals are predators and can potentially be dangerous to humans. So we have to make sure that we respect them as predators otherwise this is often how accidents can happen. And the great thing about this technique that I'm going to be talking to you about is that you don't need several years of experience in the water with sharks to be able to do it. It's a pretty basic thing to do. You might have occasionally seen Ocean Ramsey splashed across your social media who tends to touch sharks to deter them which I definitely don't agree with but the skill that I'm going to talk to you about today requires no touching of the sharks whatsoever and is actually backed up by research. Anyway it's all to do with eye contact. I've shown you before in a few previous shark bites episodes that sharks generally tend to approach things from behind and almost sneak up on them. This is a classic predator move and it's seen across the animal kingdom so it's not just specific to sharks but it's thought that if you can maintain eye contact with a shark it can actually deter that shark from approaching you. The research paper that I'll be referring to today was written by Eric Ritter and Ray Amin and they decided to test this eye contact stuff out with Caribbean reef sharks. Caribbean reef sharks are a pretty feisty shark species. They're not particularly big but they can definitely pack a punch. They're also the same species of shark that ended up biting poopies on the Jackass Shark Week special so make sure you check out the video we did on that here. Anyway, in the study, they placed divers in a little circle kneeling down on the seabed in a sort of triangle-shaped formation. To test whether eye contact influenced the sharks, the divers would slowly place their hands over their eyes, and this was considered breaking eye contact. And they found that the sharks stayed significantly further away when the divers maintained eye contact with those sharks, compared to breaking that eye contact. So why would the sharks do this? Well, in studies with other animals, it's shown that eye contact, or lack thereof, comes down to submission or dominance. When eye contact is interrupted between between animals this could be a sign of submission but when it's maintained that could be interpreted as a sign of dominance. If any of you at home have a dog then think back to a time when that dog did something that it probably shouldn't have done and more often than not that dog will not be able to look you in the eye because it's submitting. So the same could be said about sharks. If you're maintaining eye contact with the shark, you're showing yourself to be a dominant and powerful individual that's not to be messed about with in the water. And this could cause them to steer clear of you and only really check you out from a distance. Right, let's have a look at some of this in action. I've got two examples here of what happens when you maintain eye contact and what can happen when you break eye contact with a shark. First up is from Ocean Ramsey. Now, I don't agree with what Ocean Ramsey does, but this clip actually demonstrates the eye contact thing quite nicely. Let's have a look. So in this first clip, we can see Ocean free diving with some sandbar sharks, although some of the ones in the distance might be Galapagos sharks. Anyway, she dives down a little bit here and immediately you can see her eyes are trained on a shark approaching just off camera. And that gaze is enough to keep that shark at bay as it swims off towards the right. But I think it's this next one that's an even better example of it. So she dives down a little further, looks up and meets the eyes of another shark who's headed straight for her and bang. That eye contact there has completely altered the direction of that shark who quickly heads off the other way. Okay, let's have a look at what can happen when you take your eyes off a shark. Now, this is a clip we have had on the channel before back when I reacted to shark attack clips from the internet, but let's have a look at it again. So we've got the infamous oceanic white tip shark here. The free diver ducks down in the water as the shark is headed straight for him. He's not kept his eyes on the shark and it's bitten him on the shoulder. You can just see how quickly things can go badly when you take your eyes off the shark for just a second. I honestly think that second clip there would have had a completely different result had the guide not free dived down and taken his eyes off the shark. Now back onto the study in question, I think importantly here we have to take these results pretty cautiously. I know I titled the video how to deter a shark but we have to remember this study was only conducted on one shark species the Caribbean reef shark. So it might not be the case for all of the shark species. In general it probably is based on some of the clips I just showed you there but we can't say that for sure. Please don't go jump in the water with a great white shark and try this out. You definitely do not have my permission to do that. <laughs> I think also we have to take into account shark personalities here as well. It's pretty clear that different sharks have different personality traits, just like humans do. Some individuals are pretty shy and cautious, whereas other individuals can be bold and aggressive. That partially might explain in some cases why shark attacks happen. Perhaps the sharks that are biting people are just significantly more bold or aggressive than other sharks, but 
the jury's still out on that one. I think it's important we take personalities into account when looking at something like this because a shark that's particularly more bold and aggressive might respond very differently to eye contact compared to a shark that's shy or cautious. This eye contact research actually does have a lot of potential though, and looking into it more, we could start to understand a little bit more about shark behavior. There's even a company out there at the moment that's putting large eyes on the bottom of surfboards to try and deter sharks from biting surfers. I'm not aware of any real empirical evidence on the effectiveness of putting eyes on the bottom of surfboards, but it's still pretty interesting. So there we have it, guys. If you find yourself in the water with a shark, make sure you maintain eye contact with it to have a nice and safe experience, maybe. What do you make of this study then? Does it sound plausible to you? Have you ever been in the water with a shark and deterred it with your eyes? I wanna hear all your thoughts in the comments below. I'll also, of course, post the link to the research paper in the description below so you can have a read of it for yourselves if you want to. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bite channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.